the, uh, the Devin Haney contract, the red line, the, oh all God, that stuff. Yeah. I mean, you was going online. Listen, Slim, you was cooking like every day. You was on Instagram. <laughs> yes, I was cooking. We everything. was all watching you. He was like, damn, Gary don't went in again. Because I mean, I'm not. The, I'm. I'm a physical person. Right. You feel me? I ain't really the ones for the for the high school back and forth and all that. Yeah. Just like they say, pushes come together, man. Click together so they don't feel alone. It be like that. They really do that in real life. Yeah. I'm one of the ones that are stand by myself, solo dolo. You know what I'm saying? On all ten. Right. Did you have any thoughts on uh, you know seeing what happened with Devin? Uh, one, it looked like he was you know outboxed, and then it came out that Ryan was you know tested positive PDs. What was your reaction to all of that? Um. Even with that, I thought it, I thought it was crazy for. One, I'm completely against any type of steroiding, doping, any of that shit because as a fighter, you know what I'm saying, we go and bust our ass every day in the gym right. to try to be the best that we can be, to come out there for you, for somebody to come and do some unfair shit like that. Right. I've completely frowned, that's completely frowned upon. Um, I also feel as though that steroids don't help your skill set. Even if he did take that shit, it's not gonna make him a better fighter. It doesn't make you a better fighter. You won't get. You might not get tired, but it's not gonna make you a better fighter. So even if he, I don't know if it was proven if Ryan was on it or wasn't on it, but I feel as though if they was to rematch it and even if he wasn't on it, the outcome is still gonna be the same. Would you? Uh, I know your brother is campaigning at 140. That's Devin's weight class. It's for the WBC interim this this Saturday, June 15th. It didn't work out with Mr. Gary Russell, the oldest. You can't run from this DNA, baby. You so you think to, we you might have, get gonna have, Antoine? They're going to have to deal with this bloodline at some point. One way or another, they're going to have to deal with this bloodline. Either they're going to shit or get off the stool. And to be honest with you, after that last performance from Devin, God willing, my younger brother go out here and is victorious on Saturday night. The only way Devin's going to be able to regain anything is to fight someone of that stature. Right. So now, you know, back against the wall, so you're going to have to shit or get, get all the stool. And we're going to send pressure. That's what I've been saying. And we're going to send pressure. That's what I've been saying. Gonna, the only way... Either you're going to take it or vacate that motherfucker. <laughs> that's what I've been saying. Yeah, that's it. I've been saying that the only way Devin get his respect back is that's fight it. somebody that everybody knows is like that yeah. dude. And that's it. I think that your brother has been one of the most... Uh, flying under the rate. I mean, we know about him, but he still ain't really him. Boots. They still this, really fight. I for believe that this shine. is his come out. This is his coming out part. Yeah. I believe this fight right here is his coming out part. Right. When y'all talk about physics, we talking about leverage on shots, punch placement. What does that mean? When, we, when I keep hearing them say we train physics, yeah, and we, I don't think I ever heard that in boxing. Yeah, we train just a little different, you know positions everybody have their own mm -hmm. creed or remember you know the chinese movies yeah. no they got all these different styles yeah, they got yeah. the tiger style uh -huh. all, shallow you know, style. Yeah, there you go you know what i'm saying we and my father i'm blessed because a lot of these fighters that you see man they frankenstein fighters they learn they was training with this person then they stopped training with him they started training with somebody else so you know, when we was taught, we, everyone has a hook, a jab, an uppercut. But we was just taught to do it a little differently. You know, to generate more, to still be able to generate a certain amount of power behind it without telegraphing. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's some somewhat of our creed. It's, it ain't something I can really explain. I'm also have to show you. Yeah, and I know a lot of people. You know, his father's dead. That's why I was asking you over there.